Good morning. How are you feeling? I still can't feel my leg. Well, remember the doctor last night? He said it was probably temporary. Yeah, but, I mean, it's already morning now. How long is this going to take? Well, the neurologist is going to come by, and I bet you we'll get some answers then, I promise. Mr. Buchanan. Dr. Shinseki. I need to speak with you and Ms. Hammond. I have Matthew's test results. bleeding and she's breathing on her own but because she has a head injury they're keeping her in a coma until it heals but i'm she's gonna be all right isn't she we hope so man dorian's in there with her right now she's better at getting answers from doctors than i am I'm so sorry true the police arrested my dad they think he's the one who did it you don't believe it though do you all I know is that I have two brothers who are coming home tomorrow, and someone needs to break this all to them. Okay, well, why not let your grandmother and your Aunt Dorian take the lead on this one? They trust me. No, I know. I know that they do. I know what amazing big sister you are, but no matter how mature you are, and you are, you know, you're still a kid yourself. This is happening to you, too, you know. For once in your life, will you please let the adults handle this? I don't like the idea of you living in a room that your friend Wes died in. Come home with me. Hey, I didn't know you were Wes's friend. I wish I had another room. I'll be okay. I'm gonna need you to spruce it up a little bit in here. Another coat of paint. Yeah, no problem. It needs to be cleaned from top to bottom. Yeah, I'll send housekeeping up. I already got rid of the mattress. Right. And... I think you should knock another hundred bucks off the rent. All right, all right already. All right, I can't go any lower than that. Leave it to a Buchanan to not know that the economy is in a major regression. You drive a hard bargain. Mm. You know, Brody, I mean it. I don't like the idea of you living here, and there's plenty of room that my mom's and... And you should be standing on your own two feet, and I'm going to sit down and be quiet. You don't have to babysit me, Jess. You have two little kids who need your undivided attention. I think I know what Bess was doing at the hospital that night. The night Bess came to the hospital, she took Jessica's baby to Dr. Joplin's office. Marcy just said that's where Star's baby was taken. Who supposedly died of RH disease. But both Cole and Star have the same RH factors. So if Hope didn't die of RH disease... Something else must have killed her. Or... Uh, don't. Don't say it. I have to. What if Star's baby wasn't sick? What if it was Jessica's baby that was sick? God, Jared. What if Beth switched the babies? I don't think this cohabitation thing is gonna work. Why is that? Afraid you're not gonna be able to keep your hands off me? No, no. I, actually, I'm afraid that we're gonna cramp each other's styles. I have, I have a lot of things to do, okay? I got papers to grade, I got lessons to plan. Assuming I'm not fired. Fired? You know, it's just, it's, it's not going to work, okay? I'll stay out of your way, I promise. One or two nights, maybe. Maybe. Come on. You'll be doing me a big favor here, okay? I don't have any other options. It's either you or it's a cardboard box on the side of the road. You know, Stacy, you, you never said why your sister kicked you out. What did you do? What makes you think I did anything? I don't know. A, a decade of knowing you. Okay, she thinks I made a move on her baby daddy. She's always making something out of nothing, though. Leukemia? Shame? Yeah. Look, 
The car accident is actually a blessing in disguise. <laughs> if Shane doesn't come into the ER, then maybe we don't catch this in time. <laughs> leukemia, that's cancer. It's acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's the most common form found in children. <laughs> He's not even sick. No. Rex, he's not sick. I know. It It appears that way, but his white cell count is through the roof. And we need to do a bone marrow biopsy to be 100% sure, but the blood smear that I did is, is pretty convincing. I'm so sorry. I know this is... This is a huge blow. So how sick is he? At this point, even the mildest infection could be catastrophic. Wait. Wait. You're saying Shane is so sick he could die? say to them. I can imagine them looking at me kind of like I imagine hope sometimes. Yeah, as a two-year-old or a six-year-old or a nine-year-old, I do the same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. I do. You talk to hope? <laughs> yeah. I just don't know if it helps or not, really. No, it does. Yeah. It helps. Me having this every day, it's just a constant reminder that she was here and she, even though it was for just a little while. Marcy, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset no, you. No, no, no. You, you, I was... <laughs> please, I was already upset, really. I... Why? I don't know if telling you this is the right thing. I found out something about our baby. I found out something about Hope. Do you know what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about this little baby here, this little girl that we both love very much. And Jared, look, I know. If this all sounds completely ridiculous when I'm done, we'll just forget I ever said it. People don't do stuff like this. Tess would. She was... She was going into labor when she left us in the basement. And not just any old labor. She was... she was in trouble. Okay, so she goes to the cottage to give birth, and then and something bad happens. I mean, something very bad must have happened for Bess to come out and take control. Like losing her baby. So what if Bess brought a dying baby to this hospital and took home a healthy baby? Star's baby. You know, I just... I don't like the idea of you living in this room alone. Do you want me to leave? No. I just don't want to sink any money into this place. Especially since I don't have any. Well, hey. My family has a lot of coal in this town. I'm sure they will be able to find a qualified guy like you a job. Trained SEAL with documented mental instability. I don't even think the three cannons could get job offers for someone like that. You're a vet. And that matters to people. My meltdown was front page news in this town. Yeah, maybe it's a mistake for me to stay here in my life. No, it would be a bigger mistake if you left. So then she accused me of drugging Rex. I mean, come on. Like, I would slip a Mickey to anyone. Um, Stace, it's me you're talking to, okay? You and I both know what you're capable of. Okay, that was a long time ago, and you weren't a saint either. True. I mean, why would I go after Rex anyway? Oh, I don't know. Maybe to... Screw your sister. <laughs> no, he's not worth it, believe me. He's just a dreamer who's never going to make any money in his life. <laughs> that loser wears his heart on his sleeve. 
Huh. Um, you know, you used to say things like that to me. You wouldn't, uh, be reminded of him by me, would you? What? I don't think Rex is just some random guy. I think Rex is the guy you've been pining over all this time. There is hope, okay? Leukemia is no longer the automatic death sentence that it used to be. There have been enormous strides in treatment in the last 20 years. But it can be fatal, right? And given Shane's numbers, we're going to want to pursue an aggressive line of treatment as soon as possible. Oh, my God! What, what does that mean, aggressive? Well, that's going to be up to Shane's oncologist, but he's probably going to want to get him into chemotherapy right away. Chemo? Yes, it's going to be our first line of attack, okay? And since we want to be prepared for any additional avenue of treatment, we're going to search the National Registry for a possible stem cell donor. He's going to need a transplant. It's a possibility. Yes, if everything else fails, okay? So I suggest that you guys go out and you round up everyone that you can, okay? And the more blood relatives, the better. Our best hope for finding a suitable donor is a family member and he's most certainly going to need blood we'll call everyone we know God, i'm so sorry you guys i i i hate giving this news to you okay but please do not give up hope i'm going to give you guys a few minutes alone all right right back Won't. I won't let that happen. How's it going, bud? All right. I just can't wait to get out of here. This food sucks. Oh, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Got a minute? Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Shinseki has some news for us. Oh, well, shouldn't we include Matthew in this? Well, in my experience, younger patients have an easier time accepting news like this when their parents already understand the situation. News like this, well, that doesn't sound very good. No, I'm afraid it's not what we hope for. Okay. Well, just tell us what we're looking at. Matthew sustained direct compression to the top of his head, causing the C3 and C4 vertebrae to dislocate. As a result, he suffered what's known as an axial loading injury, or a severe trauma to his spinal cord. Now, we're lucky the cord was neither severed nor crushed by the blow. But the fact remains that the swelling has begun to subside, but with no return of sensation below the waist. He's paralyzed. You're saying... There's no way Matthew can come back from this? With a committed regimen of physical and occupational therapy, your son could regain limited sensitivity. Sensitivity? But since he hasn't regained any movement in over 12 hours, I'd say the odds that he'll walk again are slim. But there are, there are odds? This injury is not the end of the world for Matthew. It won't stop him from becoming a productive member of society or from leading a fulfilling life. He's an athlete. He's an active physical kid. He's... Matthew can still be active. He can still be an athlete if he chooses to. But it's an adjustment that will take time and effort. The hospital's here for him. We'll provide counselors to guide him through the transition and beyond. But the two of you will be his most effective champions. I'm going to give you a few minutes to digest this, and then I'll be back so we can all speak with Matthew together. How in the name of God could this have happened? Just say it. What are you trying to uh, tell okay, me? Okay, okay, I found out some information about Cole. About Cole information? What happened? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's, it's, he's totally fine. It was totally by accident. I just, I was, I caught up with Michael in his lab office, and Cole's latest file was on top of a desk, and so were his lab results. 
Is there something wrong with him? No, no, oh, no, honey, this isn't about Cole. No, but, but it's about hope. What I was able to put together is that she didn't die the way that they told us. There's no way that she could have had RH disease. The autopsy on Hope lists the cause of death as RH disease. But for that to be true, Star and Cole would have to have opposite RH factors. If Cole is RH negative, and so are you, then Hope had to have been too. She should have been fine, Star. She should have been healthy. Jessica's RH is negative. And we know that because none of the family members could be a donor for her when she was sick. So Nash probably had an RH positive. And, and, and Marcy even said that RH disease is extremely rare in firstborn children, which makes it even less likely for Star's baby to have had it. But this was Jessica's second baby. No, her third, actually. She was stillborn several years ago. Which makes it even more likely that that baby had the disease. But if Hope didn't die of RH disease, why did the autopsy say so? Well, how did my baby die? I don't know. I don't know, but I promise you that I'm going to get Michael to look into this, okay? Because that autopsy is wrong. The autopsy's right. Just right about the wrong baby. <laughs> Shane always gets bruises. I just think he's a kid. It's normal wear and tear. What am I going to do? Miss work? Skip a payment on the electric so I can run him to the doctor every time he has a bruise? Okay, we'll figure this out. Oh, he's been having such a hard time getting out of the bed lately, and I thought it was just because he wanted to skip school. You can't blame yourself. Sure, I can't. How long has he had this? Leukemia. Freaking leukemia. God, how did I miss it? What kind of mother does this make me? Speech. Oh, my God. It couldn't have just been the asthma. No, that, that would have been too easy. Couldn't have just been the out of nowhere, not breathing, the drowning in air, hoping I didn't misplace the inhaler. And please don't let it be empty because my son can't breathe it out of you. Give me a damn. What are we going to do, Rex? We are going to do what you have done for the past 11 years. We're going to roll with this punch. We're going to get back up and we're going to beat it. Okay. Only this time, you're not going to be by yourself. You're going to have me. We are going to get through this for our son, okay? We are going to do it together. looking for is a friendly place to stay, not a psychoanalysis. I'm not, I'm not gonna throw my favorite ex out on the street, okay? You're welcome to stay as long as it takes you to get back on your feet. Really? Mikasa is su casa. Evidently. <laughs> All right. Where's the soda machine in this dump? Soda machine. Uh, down the hall, make a left. It's around the corner. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? I live here. Oh, really? Rex and Gigi finally got wise and tossed you out with the trash. Yeah, good for them. Oh, yeah, that's none of your business. Honey, this is my place, and anything that happens in my place is my business. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Well, at least I know who to sue in the morning when I wake up with bed bug bites. We do not have bed bugs here. Gigi? I need to see you, Stace. Hey, Mom. Mom? Ooh, you must be up to something. <laughs> Let me guess. You found out Rex is a lying skirt chaser, and now you want your little sister back. But guess what? That's not gonna... It's not about Rex. It's not about you. It's not about me. What is it, Rexy? It's Shane. He's sick. Baby, I'm so sorry. Tell me what's wrong with Shane. Can I talk to you in there? Sure. Listen, your mama's here, and everything's gonna be all right. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're totally gonna get through this. 
thing is, I'm gonna need your help. I have to ask you a favor. And I realize you have every right to tell me to go to hell after I kicked you out this morning, but I'm hoping you won't hold that against Shane. What's going on? My kid is sick. You might need a bone marrow transplant, and for all we know, you could be a match, so I'm just asking you if you could please... Done. I would never hold my nephew hostage over misunderstanding. You obviously don't know me that well, do you? Are you kidding? That's a no-brainer. Of course I'll get tested. Thank you. Ma, this means the world to me. Have you told Shane yet? We wanted to talk to you and Stacy. First, I don't know. You don't know what? How am I supposed to tell him this? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be strong for, for, for my kid and for Gigi, but what the hell? Look, Amy. Uh... Hey, Shane is a tough kid. I, I wasn't even a dad a year ago, and now I might be losing my son. How am I supposed to do this? You know what you're supposed to do? You are supposed to get mad. You are supposed to get so pissed off that you can't even see straight. And when you get mad like that, when you get mad like that, you can't be sad. And when you get mad like that, it's a kind of energy that tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. And you will find out what you have to do, exactly what you have to do. You will do anything, and I mean anything, to protect your kid. Uh, Nora, Bo, I'm... I'm sorry I didn't get here earlier, but flying these days is a nightmare. It's okay. I'm just glad you came. So how is Matthew doing? He's okay, isn't he? Uh, they're so small, isn't this theory? But it explains what Bess was doing at the hospital that night. And why Star's healthy baby wound up dead. Okay, but how do you explain why that baby was left alone and in a position to be switched? I mean, honestly, how could Bessie pull this off? My Uncle Todd. Excuse me? He admitted he was planning on stealing Star's baby. So he took Star's healthy baby, this baby, to Dr. Joplin's office and... And then he changed his mind. Okay, and, and and what if his plan got screwed up before he scrapped it? And what if the reason why was because of Bess? Jared, there's just there's just so many more things I need to I, I need to know no, before no, no, I can no, figure no, this no, out. No, no, you don't. Okay, you don't need to figure anything out. This could destroy Jessica and hurt this baby. I love my sister, and I love Chloe. I would never want to hurt them. Let it go. You think it should stick around, huh? Well, you just got released, right? Yeah. And, uh, Dr. Levin warned you about making any big decisions uh, about your life too soon? Sure. But I'm gonna have to decide something at some point. Right now, I don't have much of a reason to stick around. Well, you're required to stay in treatment. That's the deal you made with the DEA's office, right? I don't think they'd be sad to see the last of me. Well, what about Shane? He's Shane's here? not my son. I just make that situation complicated. Well, I'm here. What about me? Jared, what are you thinking? Jessica doesn't remember a lot about what went on when she was test, right? Right. And nothing at all from when she was best. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then that's got to mean one of two things. Either Jessica knows Chloe is not her baby, and she's lying to all of us all this time. Or... What? Or best is still keeping that secret. And your sister is no more integrated than she was when she had us locked in that basement. Such a nightmare! You shouldn't have said anything. No, you should have. You did the right thing to tell me, but what am I supposed to do now? Our baby... Our baby died, and we accepted that. We, we had some type of peace, right? What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, honey. Dr. Joplin told us that it was my fault, that my blood poisoned my own baby, and now... I know, I know, that's 
why I decided that I had to what, tell you. What, it's not true? Everything was wrong? What am I supposed to do? Wonder for the rest of my life no, how my baby no, died? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I promise you, one way or another, we are going to figure out what happened to Hope. Jessica would never, ever lie about something so important. I mean, Star's our cousin. She would never let Star go on thinking that her daughter is dead. But Bess or Tess would. And I'm living proof that Tess doesn't give a damn about family. And according to Mom, I mean, the only reason Bess exists is to protect Jessica. I mean, damage to innocent bystanders wouldn't bother her any. So if... Bass went to the hospital that night and, and found Hope all alone. She'd switch those babies in a heartbeat. You really think this happened, don't you? Jared, I know something. Something happened that night. I just never, ever, ever imagined it would be something like this. So what do we do about it? All right. We'll arrange for the lab to take your samples. This is all happening so fast. Yeah, it has to. All right, I'll let you know if one of you is a suitable donor. The minute you know, okay? Yeah, absolutely, the minute I know. What are the odds, Michael? 70 to 75% of patients do not find viable donors within their family. I mean, typically, parents don't have enough of the good markers. It's usually siblings are the best donors. Well, you two will get on that right away. I mean, it's not unheard of, but you know, the sooner we treat Shane, the better. Just don't jump to conclusions, okay? We may not even need a donor, all right? And if we do need a donor, we may find one right here in this room or on the National Registry, okay? Right now is way too early to focus on worst case scenario. I wish my parents were still alive. What if one of them? Yeah, or my dad too, but he's dead. Look. Getting these samples is simply about covering our bases. And after that? Well, Shane's oncologist is taking a look at his test results right now, and as soon as he can, he's going to come out and discuss Shane's treatment with you. All right. Roxy, would you and Stacy go with this nurse here, please? She'll handle your paperwork and get you swabbed. Sure. Okay. No problem. Thank you. I can't tell you. I want you to bring Shane in. Today? Yeah. I told you we can't afford to waste any time. Oh, God. How are we going to tell him? Does one of you want to go first? I'll do it. Okay, follow me. Live results for Dr. McBain. Patient's name is Balsam. I'll see that he gets it right after my break. You really should lay off the sleeping pills, Rex. Neither you or Gigi need to hear about this. Now or ever. Are you seriously... Taking the word of just one doctor. Clint. Dr. Shinseki's done every test that he can. Now, wait a minute. If somebody told me that one of my kids was paralyzed for life, I would fire that person, go out and get a second opinion, a third opinion, a fourth, until I found somebody who believed in my kid. Don't tell me that I'm giving up on my son. Well, then don't go in there and tell Matthew he's never going to walk again. I don't know how to put a positive spin on this, Glenn. You don't have to. You just tell him the odds, and then you tell him that all of us are going to help him even those odds. Now, you give him a reason to fight. Don't tell him something so grim that he gives up without giving it a shot. All right, you do what you have to do. But I'm going to start calling every specialist on the planet. Listen, hey, we're in this together. You remember that, all right? Okay. 
be praying for your mom. Thank you. And I will let you know anything that I find out, okay? Okay, honey. Uh, I'm pressuring you, and I shouldn't. You have to do what's right for you, and, um, what the hell do I know? A lot. You're the best thing that happened to me during a rotten time. You kept me sane at St. Anne's. Sane as psycho can be. <laughs> Still, I need to know when to quit, which is right now, so that's why I'm gonna go. Um, can you just do me a favor? Name it. Don't leave without saying goodbye. I would... I'd be disappointed if I didn't get to say goodbye to you. I'd never do that. Besides, I can't take off anytime soon anyway. I made you a promise, remember? <laughs> you can't bounce out without making sure you know how to throw a proper spiral. I have a feeling you throw it like a girl. Really? <laughs> Bring it on, then. Maybe we should go to somebody with this, like your mom or Bo. And unleash this hell based on a hunch? Sweetheart, even if we are wrong, something bad went down in this hospital that night with both those babies. And Bess was right in the middle of it. And now we are, too. You're up next. Uh, hold it a second, Miss Ratchet. Uh, would you say goodbye to Rex and Gigi for me? You don't want to... No, listen, I, it's very important. I got to go someplace, and I just don't want to leave them hanging, okay? It's important. Just do it, okay? And then we'll be square. Yes, hello. Uh, I need to see a patient in room 302. Yes, it is family, and it's a matter of life and death. Have you got that? Yes, the name is Roxanne Balsam. Right. I'm on my way. Hey. I want you to lean on me, man. Okay, Shane's gonna have questions that you're not gonna be able to answer. You and Gigi are gonna wake up in the middle of the night with questions. I want you to write them down. And we'll talk about them the next time. Thank you. If we have to go through this, I'm glad we're doing it with you. Man, after what you did for me and Marcy with Tommy, man, this case is my top priority. Just let me know if you want me to talk to him, okay? Jesus, it's about time. What's going on? Um, we were... We were just talking to Dr. Shinseki. Tell me. Couldn't this checkup have waited until after school? And how many times do I have to tell you I'm fine? <sighs> see? No wheezing. I mean, what's the big deal? You see... The thing is, uh, when you were in the ER last night, the doctors ran some tests. For my asthma? Yeah. For that, uh, for some other stuff. Too, it's, it's just what doctors do. Uh, when the test results came back, they found something. our grandson. He's in big trouble and he needs our help. Yeah. Yours too. Star, what's wrong? What are you, what are you doing here? Michael. Are you still here? 
What happened? Something happened. What is it? I found out something about hope. Do you realize that if we're right, that means that Star and Cole and Marcy and Michael, they've been, they've been mourning the death of a baby that's been right here in front of them the whole time. All right, so you palm the ball like this. All right, you're gonna take your aim. You're gonna let the ball fall right off your fingers, okay? Let it go. Perfect spiral. All right? Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Now I'm going to fight like hell. Let's make sure nothing happens to my son. It's not temporary, is it? This is this. Wow. We have to face this head on.